you, you didn't know this, Michael Haneke had a new film out. I didn't. To yeah. say that I'm quite a fan of Michael Haneke, I, uh, I should have known that. Right. What is your Haneke film of choice out of interest? Um, the OG Funny Games. The OG Funny Games. But then also the, the remake, remake well. which yeah. is also good. It, it, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I love uh, Tim Roth and Naomi Watson, that I do. Yeah. I, sh- um, I should probably know more of his work than I do, but like... The, the main ones are both two funny games. Um, uh, Amour as well. Yes. We I like Amour. I like that. Yeah. Funnily enough, a cast member of the American remake of Funny Games is going to get mentioned in our next review. Oh, so, yeah. okay. So, Happy End, which is... Uh, this is this is a drama which is set in Calais. It, uh, in the background, you've got the, the European refugee crisis, you know, uh, with the, the trucks. And, yeah, you've got all that going on in the background. You've also then got this family drama front and centre. And... Uh, You've got a, a father who's uh, facing, a, you know, diminished physical abilities, wants to, looking to end his own life. You've got Isabel Huppert, who's dealing with corporate issues. You've got uh, her niece, who's dealing with the, let's just say, mother issues of her own. And, of course, it's all for Michael Haneke, so you know it's going to be a cheerful time. Um, a lot of the film centres around, there's a sort of undercurrent, a sort of theme running through about how these real-world problems are utilised technology. Mm. Uh, there's endless uses of, for instance, things like Snapchat and Facebook Live and uh, the, the girl, for instance, berating her mother figure through Facebook Live and, and the, the the feedback she gets from commenters on it. Um, it's something interesting for Michael Haneke, but it's not an interesting film. And okay. that's, that's largely... The big problem with it is it feels very abstract because his narrative isn't quite there. I mean, it's certainly no more, and it's definitely no Funny Games because Funny Games at least had something of a pitchy concept behind it as well. This plays as a, a very abstract drama, a very talky, familial drama, and it doesn't quite hold your interest as much as I would... I mean, you know me and movies about technology. I love a good movie about you technology. You love them. You're all about them. I'm all about a movie about technology, even Click. But... Uh, yeah. I'm kidding. I don't think <laughs> Have you seen that... Um, there's a trailer for uh, a Keanu Reeves song comes out next year. But I think, is it called Replicas? Or? Yes, where he's, he's a, a duplicate of himself, isn't he? He, he duplicates his family. That's his family one, yeah. in a car crash. It's very Black Mirror, but terrible. A little bit. Doesn't have John Hamm, though. That's how I like my Black Mirror ripoffs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With added ham. With added ham. Extra ham, if you will. Um, but no, this didn't quite didn't quite scratch the itch for me with a Michael Haneke movie. I'm, I mean, I'm always happy to see Isabel Huppert turn up in anything. Uh, there is also a very, very minor... It's basically a cameo for Toby Jones in there as well. I love Toby Jones. And uh, he's always great to see. Alas, I do think kind of wasted here. And a few weeks after Kaleidoscope as well, which I absolutely loved. Mm. But it's not one of Haneke's better films. I mean, it's better than most other directors will churn out, but it's, it's just not up to his scratch. It's... It, it fails the Haneke, uh, the Haneke, uh, 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 what do you call gauge? That's what it is. It the, lets, it the Haneke down. gauge. The Haneke gauge. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's fairly low down on the Haneke gauge. The Haneke but, uh, totem pole. The Haneke totem pole. On screen. <laughs> 